Forming questions in English can be confusing, but today I'm going to teach you a simple formula that works for asking questions in almost all the verb tenses. This formula is called QUASM, question word, auxiliary verb, subject, main verb. Let's see how it works in the present simple. Where do you work? The question word is where. The auxiliary verb is do. The subject is you. And the main verb is work. Here are three more examples. What does Martha think about the project? How do you like your new apartment? How many kids does Bob have? The formula also works in the past simple, where the auxiliary verb is did. For example, how did they learn English so fast? When did you get home? What did the manager think about your idea? Where did he buy that shirt? To form questions in the present continuous, the auxiliary verb is is or are, and the main verb is in the ing form. For example, what are you doing right now? Why is he ignoring me? What time are we meeting up for dinner? Who is she dating these days? In the past continuous, the auxiliary verb is was or were, and the main verb also has the ing form. For example, Who were you talking to yesterday? What was Jim doing when you called? Why were the children eating candy before dinner? How was he feeling after the surgery? Let's look at the present perfect. In the present perfect, the auxiliary verb is have or has, and the main verb is the past participle form. For example, How much have you spent on clothes this month? How long has Mary worked at this school? This also works for the present perfect continuous. As in the questions, What have they been doing all day? Why has the client been complaining? To form questions in the future, we can use will or going to, but the formula still applies. For example, who will you invite to the party? What will your parents think about your plan? When are you going to clean your room? Why is she going to quit her job? And finally, we can use the QUASM formula for making questions with modal verbs. For example, What would you do if you had a million dollars? How could we improve our English? Where should I go on my next vacation? Why can't I open this file? Here are a few exceptions to the formula. Yes or no questions do not use a question word, but they still follow ASM, auxiliary verb, subject, main verb. Let's look at some examples. Do you like bananas? Did he enjoy the movie? Are they studying English? Were you sleeping when I called you last night? Has Jane finished her homework? Will you call me when you get home? Is he going to accept the job offer? Should we take the earliest flight? Questions where the main verb is be also don't follow quasim. But remember when forming these questions that to be always comes before the subject. For example, are you thirsty? Is she a teacher? Were your parents angry when you failed the test? Was her ex-boyfriend a basketball player? A few more exceptions are reported questions, indirect questions, and subject questions. These also do not follow the QUASM formula, but I'll teach you those in a future lesson.